Hey everybody, Coach Isai here, coming at you with more tips, tricks, and advice so that you can get the most out of your network marketing business. How is everybody? As you're tuning in, can you give me a thumbs up, a little heart action, let me know where you're coming in from. I'd like to know where this message is uh, reaching out to. I got one for you today. So you've been talking to a prospect and, it come, and you're explaining how much it costs to join your business. Right off the bat, you get the objection, hey coach, I don't have the money for this. What do you do? What do you do when your prospect comes at you and says that they don't have the money? Well, let's talk about that. So a lot of times you can, you can usually get to the root of the actual problem or the actual question by following up that statement with a few questions to kind of steer the conversation and to find out what exactly is holding that prospect back. Do they really don't have the money? Do they... You know, are, are they not interested? Maybe it's the timing is wrong. You know, it could be a whole host of things, but I'm pretty sure, I guarantee that it's not a money issue. Trust me, we all have, we all have bills. We all have, you know, stuff that we need to pay for on a monthly basis. However, we usually always can find a little extra cash for that one thing that we want to do, so, you know, that one treat or something that we want, you know, that, that one treat that we want to splurge on and just kind of, you know, make ourselves feel better. And so asking the right questions will help you get to the right answer, the true answer. So I usually go one of two ways. I've learned, uh, I usually follow this up one of two ways. I learned one response from an upline that was very helpful, uh, very helpful uh, for me. And the other one I found uh, uh, online. And so the first response I would come out with is, so, so if I approach a prospect and they, and they tell me like, hey, I have no money, you know, they, they give you that, uh, that line, then I'll usually come back at them and say, well, hey, you know, if the money really wasn't an issue, would you actually join right now? Like, is that actually style? Let's say, let's say the money wasn't an issue. Would you join right now? And that, that kind of throws them for a loop because they're usually not, they're not expecting that. Like, if, if, they, if, they, if they told you that they had no money, but that's really not the issue, then generally when you throw that question at them, it's going to have, you know, they're going to backpedal a little bit and they're going to think about it and be like, hey, you know, wow, I, was, I wasn't expecting that. Usually when you come at them with that question, they're going to they're gonna come back, they're going to respond to you with a better answer. Like, hey, this is not for me or maybe not right now or I can't see myself doing it or something to that effect. And the second response I usually give is, so how far off are we? And you'll be surprised because a lot of times your prospect may have some money saved up, two, three, four hundred dollars, whatever the case may be. And, you know, they may only need, um, say, a hundred dollars or, you know, fifty dollars. And so it's a lot easier to you know, come up with, say, let's say your buy-in is $500 for argument's sake. And, and the prospect comes at you and they're like, you know, I have no money for that. And then you're like, well, okay, that's, that's cool. I understand that. But how far off are we? Like how far from that goal are you? And if they respond with, well, you know, I have some money in savings and I have a little bit on, on my credit card and I could probably borrow from my Uncle Bob and, you know, my, my wife has a little stash. You know, you can probably pull some money together and, and, and cover that expense. Because in reality, 99% of people will have the money. It's a matter of whether they want to spend the money or not. 
And generally, if they don't want to spend the money, they either have a legitimate excuse, like a sick relative or something like that, that they're supporting, or you haven't shown the value in what, what you're offering. And what we have to really keep in mind is that sometimes the timing may be off. Like you may be approaching someone way before the time that they should be approached. Like maybe you haven't built that rapport up just yet. And part of that perceived value is their trust in you as a person. You know what I mean? So like if they don't trust you, then part of that intrinsic value that you need to portray to that prospect is their trust in you. Other times we approach them with a scarcity mentality and that in itself can debunk the whole deal right off the bat. So if you're negative and you're always coming uh, with a scarcity mentality, how are you going to sell something to someone if your mindset isn't right? So there's things you can do about your scarcity mentality if that be the case. So remember those two questions. How far off are we? And two, if money wasn't an obstacle, would you join right now? You'll be surprised where those two questions will get you. It'll generally help your prospect open up a little more. And ideally, you want to keep that dialogue going. You want to, I mean, you don't want it to drag on forever and ever and ever, but you want to extract as much information from your prospect to find out what reservations they actually have. Like deep down inside, why is it that they don't or cannot commit at the moment? Is it really that, you know, it's the wrong time or do they truly honestly don't have the money or do they not trust you enough? There's a whole host of reasons why they wouldn't join you, but it's your job to find out what is, what's that obstacle that's holding them back. And if you keep that mentality of trying to understand them and where they're coming from and not essentially attacking them as, as, as far as like, why aren't you joining? You know, you don't understand. Um, th you're never going to get an opportunity like that. No, that's, that's not what you want to do. You want to, you want to, you want to understand where your prospect is coming from and help shepherd them into the right direction, essentially guide them in the right direction. I hope you got value out of this. If you could drop me a like, let me know where you're coming in from. Give me a heart, share this with your friends, your family, your uplines, downlines, sidelines, you name it. If you haven't done so already, like my page, set it to see first, follow me on YouTube, on Twitter, on LinkedIn. And if you haven't done so already, sign up for the 10 day attraction marketing formula bootcamp hosted by Fernie Ceballos. The link is down in the description. Take care. Bye.